We are John and Ellie, the Barefoot Doctors. Join us on this new chapter on our brand new Leopard 45 catamaran as we unearth the jewels of the med. And the world. Because life is better barefoot. Today I'm really happy to have a look at the Explo Cat 52 from Garcia and we are here today with S Cyril, Cyril Corlet. Corlet. <laughs> Cyril Corlet. And he's been showing us around the yard and the boat and it's absolutely incredible. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Welcome to the Garcia Yacht. Thank you very much for inviting us. Uh, look, uh, what I'd like to do to start with is can you tell us about Garcia boats in general? Try to do it as short as possible because the history of, Gar of Garcia is 45 years uh -huh. old now. Uh -huh. uh, we built uh, aluminium boat and centerboard mainly uh, since the beginning of the, of the yard. Uh, it's blue water cruising yacht uh, for most uh -huh. of them uh -huh. uh, and most of them are sailing all around the world and we decided in 2013 with Jimmy Cornell to launch the Exploration Ranch with the Exploration 45. Mm -hmm. His aim was to um, cross uh, the North West Passage of Canada uh, and with uh, uh, key features of the boat which push all the key features of comfort and safety to the maximum uh -huh. on this 45 feet. Then we decided later to have all these key features on the 52 monohull, mm -hmm. the 60, Exploration 60 monohull and now on the ExpoCat 52. And really basically this is extending the cruising range for yachts so we, people can now safely and in more comfort sail out of the normal cruising areas. Yes, on the monohull we used to say that there is nowhere you can go. Most of them uh -huh. have, have been to high latitudes. Uh -huh. um, on the cat we could say that uh, we stretch the boundaries. Uh -huh. uh, probably the use of cat is tropical routes mainly. Mm -hmm. With an aluminium cat we can stretch the boundaries to, yeah. to other yeah. uh, destinations. And people can sail with much more confidence in icebergs, reefs, etc. Of course, the quality of uh, the aluminium raw material is uh -huh. that it can be more resistant to uh, some hits, rocks, containers, uh -huh. whales, so that you are more confident in, the, in this raw material. And also the, or, the second quality is that the rigidity of the platform is uh, very uh, important. Uh -huh. uh, Pete Goss, I don't know if you know, know this famous yeah. sailor yeah, 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 who yeah. is a uh, race world, yes. uh, yeah. sailor who did the uh, um, Vendée Globe, which is a well-known uh -huh, race uh -huh. in, in France, uh, oh. single-handed, yes. all around the world. The world yes. um, when we were sailing up to the wind with 25 knots of wind, uh, the rigging under the wind was very rigid, and uh -huh. this is probably the main uh, signal for uh -huh. a very rig rigid Richard platform. Yes. We were talking about why we launched that yeah. boat. It's also because there is no aluminium cat on the market, probably some one-off, one but builds, not yeah. made from a yard yeah. with a small series like yeah. we yeah. offer. And the safety of a small series and uh, the safety also of a yard which can offer after sale service yeah. warranty yeah. On, on the boat. Yeah. Uh, so I think that we are actually uh, one of the uh, only yard which offers uh, uh, an, aluminum, an aluminum cat, mm -hmm. which fits to this exploration yeah. program that uh, some uh, owners want uh -huh. to have okay. uh, on their blue water cruising yeah. project. That's, you also have quite a good support program for like annual training and and courses for blue water sailors. So can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, so this is the offer? philosophy of the group Grand Large Yachting and this is the philosophy also of the two founders Stefan and Xavier who wanted from the beginning to have an internal school then to uh, help our customers to configure their, bo their boat then to have a good session of handover of several days when we deliver the boat and then to be able to help them when they use the boat during the warranty period of course but the after sale also uh -huh. 10 years later uh -huh. if you need some help in uh -huh. the Carib or, or, or in the Fiji uh -huh. Uh -huh. so we can help our customers from the idea until the end of mm -hmm. the project when you want to sell the boat on, se on the second hand market with a brokerage company mm -hmm. and at the beginning we've got a blue water cruising school mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where you have nearly 15 
different trainings about medicine on board, about uh, how to repair your sails, how to repair your outboard engine, mm -hmm. how to repair your main engine, mm -hmm. the weather forecast, electronic on board, communication yeah. on board, how to use your iridium to get your uh, grip files, yeah. etc. Yeah, yeah so and autonomy on board the Blue Water Cruising boat, of course, yeah, as you know, is really. a topic, so we help our customer to be able to have this uh, autonomy level on board yeah. their boat. No, that's absolutely fantastic. So talking about aluminium, because a lot of people that will be watching this video won't know anything about aluminium, let's pretend I know nothing. So tell us the benefits and the disadvantages of aluminium. So the main benefit of aluminium, and that's why we choose this raw material for blue water cruising boats, is that it is a safe raw material uh -huh. for, for boats. You can probably meet everything with this uh, raw material and, and feeling safe with that. Uh -huh. In any case, probably you will make a dent, but not a hole. Uh -huh. So it will be probably the difference between a problem and, and a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. The other benefit is that it's a rigid platform, so uh -huh. it's good for safety but and noise, but also for performance uh -huh. on the cat. Uh -huh. uh, and as we insulate uh, with foam uh, the boat, uh, it's also a very uh, good comfort on board uh, because uh, insulation is good for warm area, cold area uh -huh. and for noise also. Uh -huh. And it does, I mean looking at the construction it's, it just gives you confidence. Just seeing all those cross beams it looks phenomenally strong and clearly metal has that extra 17 times the strength of fiberglass. Yes and the resistance is due to the aluminium itself, uh -huh. its thickness of course uh -huh. from 6 millimeters to 8, 10, yeah. 12 sometimes 14 millimeters yeah. and the structure itself which is also part of this rigidity. So tell us about the disadvantages of aluminium. The first disadvantage maybe it's that it is an expensive raw material uh -huh. uh, compared to construction of a GRP yeah. uh, boat, your yeah. you fiberglass boat. You have a mold and yeah. you can uh, slap easily yeah. uh, slap it. Uh, on an aluminium boat we are st started from uh, aluminium plates uh -huh. at the beginning each time, yeah. so it takes for uh, this cat uh, nearly eight months only to weld it uh -huh. uh, and then eight another months to build it completely. Uh -huh. The uh, other part is that it's an expensive boat but the second hand value is very high uh -huh. also uh -huh. due to the quality of the aluminium uh -huh. and also due to the market uh -huh. uh, because there is quite a lot of people who are interested uh -huh. in aluminium boats uh -huh. and the production is very so, little. Yeah. Uh, we produce only two boats a year for the Expo Cat 52. Right. 22 boats in total for Garcia and Allure Yachting, but only two for the uh, base cat. Okay, okay. But let's talk about electrolysis then. So the second topic you're right it could be the electrolysis uh, corrosion. Uh, you've got to be aware about three topics mainly when you own an aluminium boat. The first one is the electric installation inside the boat. So we do care of course about that installation. We use for example electric cables which are certified for 100,000 torsion with a special uh, rubber protection mm -hmm. on it. The installation is always done with special pipes uh -huh. yeah, uh, to be sure that everything would be well so you, fitted. So basically what you're doing is you're running the the cables that are already got double insulation because yes. you've shown me that and then you run those doubly insulated cables inside other pipes, pipes to around be, to, corners. To be completely protected. Uh -huh. After that you've got on the boat an electric link detector uh -huh. in case uh -huh. that you need to check each week or each yeah. month. An electric link won't happen just like that. Uh -huh. It's something that will have wrong. been uh, uh, done uh, probably on the boat. Uh -huh. And if you have an electric clean detection, uh, you just need to switch off everything uh -huh. and to switch on its items to, to know which one yeah. is, is, is the problem yeah. and to fix it. Yeah. This is the first topic. The second topic mainly is that you have outside the boat uh, for the electric uh, environment you can have uh, some anodes uh -huh. outside the boat, four or five depending on the boat uh -huh. you have. And these anodes, you have to change them each three or four years. The third topic is the anti-falling you use, the submarine paint, uh -huh. uh, which is a special one for aluminiums. If you just respect those three topics, you won't have any problem with electricity mm -hmm. corrosion. And the two second topics which are builder um, issues, uh, yes. issues is that you need to use the good aluminium reference which uh -huh. used to seawater uh -huh. use. Uh -huh. 
And the second one is that uh, each time you've got stainless steel and aluminum, for example, you need to insulate the connection between two of them. For example, if we are talking about this stainless steel pieces outside, on the uh, connection to the deck, you need uh -huh. to insulate them plastic. with a plastic uh, uh -huh. special pieces. We were walking past 18-year-old aluminium boats that are in... Yeah, and 38 for, 38. for one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the fact is that aluminium, the issues with aluminium and corrosion have been addressed now because of you know what to do. And you know. yeah. I think let's talk about the Explocat 52 specifically and how it's different from the other boats of this size in the market. This boat is in the middle between the, let's say, the comfortable, comfortable boat uh, and the high speed one. Mm -hmm. I won't mention the mm. we brand, but, okay, but yes, I think okay. everybody yes, know, know what, what I mean. And we are in considering the square meters and the weight of the boat in the middle of that two okay. uh, group of, uh, of boat because one of the advantages of aluminium is that it is a light raw material. Uh -huh. We usually don't remember that uh, before composite and before carbon, all race boats were made of aluminium in the 80s. And Garcia actually uh, built three race boats, uh, uh -huh. two for the Vendée Globe. Uh -huh. The first one on the third Vendée Globe was uh, number th three uh, of the, uh, I think, 18 boats uh, that did this, yeah, this yeah, Vendée Globe. Yeah. At the end, we are on nearly uh, 18 tons boat which is probably in the middle on the 52 feet which are, are from around 12 tons mm. to 22 25 yeah, tons yeah, uh, yeah. for the comfortable one yeah. tell me what kind of performance you'd expect in terms of speed through the water i think the best is to talk about the average uh, miles you can do uh, each day because we are talking about a blue water cruising boat uh -huh. so uh, this boat is made for long passages mm -hmm. Uh, sailing two of you usually as a couple mm -hmm. for a long time so you need to go quite fast as it is a key feature for safety for on the cat yeah. but also uh, not to be too tired after several uh -huh. days uh -huh. uh, and I think you can uh, be sure that you will be between 10 and 12 knots easily mm -hmm. uh, on this cat with more than uh, 18 20 mm -hmm. knots of winds mm -hmm. and you can count on 200 miles a day mm -hmm. uh, that means that in four days uh, you can play with uh, weather systems uh, mm -hmm. if you uh, mm -hmm. have to meet okay. some. Can you sail the boat in light winds and not have to turn the engine on? Well, we sailed with seven knots outside and we were at seven knots of speed. Are you getting uh, boats? Are you getting wind speed? So it was quite good, wow. 90 degrees for, yeah. to the wind. Uh -huh. And uh, around 10 to 12 knots, you can sail also uh, around eight, nine knots. Also. Right? Of course, you need to be aware of the weight of the, your boat. You yeah. are on the catamaran. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're trying to teach the performance, body. of course, is really connected to the, boat. To the, to the weight right. you put on your boat. Yeah. That's right. One of the big fears that people have when they're out cruising is being hit by lightning. So is it worse or better being in an aluminium boat compared to an ordinary fiberglass boat? I think it would be the same. <laughs> First of all, it's very rare, uh -huh. hopefully. Uh -huh. Second uh, topic is that all your electronics will be ruined. burned, probably, yeah. Yeah. Uh, either on a fiberglass boat or an aluminium one, but one. And you will be safe inside your boat on a polyester or uh -huh. fiberglass boat and either on uh -huh. an aluminium one due to the Faraday effect, I don't right. know if it's yeah, a good yeah. word in English, yeah, if the same, uh, yeah, the you have which is a well-known uh -huh. effect yeah, uh, yeah. inside the boat. Of course you don't have to touch the aluminium part of the boat mm -hmm. uh, but as you can see inside the boat here you are safe it. without any aluminium yeah. uh, part uh, yeah. 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 Uh, that you can touch. Just when you say a lightning strikes are uncommon, in some parts of the world they're very common. In Florida, we met a couple who had, had been hit five times. Wow. Same boat, they got hit five times. So Florida's got, is really bad for lightning. Maybe they should uh, have the idea to visit other parts of the world. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Which are very nice, for example, Europe. Is that's very nice. right. <laughs> if we're to order a boat today, how long will it take to get a boat? Well, to get an Explocat 52, yeah. it, it, it will take uh, four years now. Four years. Yeah, we're talking about 2026. Uh, but maybe we can talk also about the specificity of, of a blue water cruising uh -huh. boat compared to a mass production boat, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, but there cool. is one big difference, in my opinion, and the big difference is the autonomy mm -hmm. of the boat. We're talking here about 1,100 liters of diesel that you can have in the two hulls mm -hmm. and you can go to 
6,500 liters. That means that the autonomy you have with this boat, the range you can you can you can uh, go is uh, probably more than 1,000 miles. So you can choose non-expensive country yeah. and uh, clean gasoil uh -huh. because you can know quite yeah. easily where the gasoil is clean, yeah. so you are able to choose that area. Yeah. And having uh, a clean, clean gasoil oil. is a yeah. true topic also. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, talking about how we help our customers to, oh, yeah. to go to Blue Water Cruising, the Grand Large World Rally, uh, which started in Sevilla in November, going to Tenerife, oh, then yeah. crossing the Atlantic to Marin in Martinique, Caraïbe. Then in the next two years, we'll do the, the, they will do the, the whole world tour. Right. And this is organized by the group Grand Large Yachting. Uh -huh. We do provide help for all the um, administrative mm. process you can have Along and you know that nowadays it's they are more tough than, yeah, than right. they were. Uh, so you showed us the metal of a, of a boat that had been rammed by a 25 ton fishing boat at about 5 knots and what you, we saw was just a dent mm -hmm. in the aluminium. Plus other people, you said people have hit containers and just ridden up over the top of them. It's and happened one time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he sailed off with everything working yeah i mean uh, I, I think the, the 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 aluminium quality of the, this raw material is that uh, uh, if you hit something you will make a dent but not a hole uh -huh, so uh -huh. of course it's not a good news that uh, you you hit something uh -huh. but you will be able to go back uh, to uh, a marina uh -huh. or to facilities and, yeah. and to be able to repair it and repairing uh, aluminium hull is not so difficult uh -huh. you can find somebody everywhere in the world to uh -huh, do that uh -huh. and we can help you to find the good mm -hmm. welders mm -hmm. to, to, to do that. I do believe aluminium uh, raw material is the best raw material uh -huh. for blue water cruising and for the program you would have if you want to circumnavigate uh -huh. all over the world uh -huh. and to have a bit more than just tropical route uh -huh. Uh -huh. because I do believe that some of uh, uh, the crew uh, after several years uh, enjoying the sun uh -huh will have the idea maybe to, to go and do something uh, more discover challenging. Greenland uh -huh. or uh -huh. Alaska uh -huh. or maybe uh, uh -huh. Beagle Canal uh, uh -huh. after a while. Uh -huh. The outside temperature is um, around 7 degrees, uh -huh. there's kind of quite uh, a lot of wind outside. Uh -huh. We are in Chiabo, which is a beautiful town, but the weather in the, the winter, is, mid -winter quite, yes. is quite cold and sometimes a bit humid. Uh -huh. And I think you are inside here with just a, a <laughs> shirt. I, I've got a pullover, but I'm a bit uh, Hot. warm. Hot. <laughs> and because the heating in here is so good. So the heating is, is yeah. on and <laughs> I think it's 20, 22 degrees inside. It is. Uh, this boat is insulated uh -huh. with a, a heater uh, inside so you can go very in very comfortable conditions to uh -huh. uh, Svalbard, for example, which is the program of this boat next uh -huh. uh, summer, and, and enjoy life uh, uh -huh. very comfortable. Thanks so much for, for giving us your time. You've given us lots to think about. Yeah, this um, is an uh, absolutely wonderful boat. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. It's a pleasure. This part made of uh, foam and GRP. If you hit something, this sacrificial part will just be scrapped. crushed. Okay.
So this is a wet locker for the wet weather gear. And you say it has a dryer, has a blower. Yep. Yeah. Our weather can drip down nice. Oh, nice. And that's got a hot air, you said. Also, well. hot air going out, yes. Here? Yeah. Oh, it sucks the air out. Okay. So it's either big bed and hard to tuck in, <laughs> or smaller bed and easy to tuck in. Okay, so in summary, the Explore Cat 52 from Garcia, what do you think, honey? I'm really impressed. It is a fantastic boat. It is. Um, the moment you walk into the build, you can feel how solid it is. You can see how solid it is. They, they, 
or they look unstoppable? They very clearly state they are in the middle range between comfort and high performance. So they are moderately heavy and they are moderately fast. Those figures that they give us for performance are really quite surprisingly good. Mm. Being able to do 7 knots and 7 knots of wind and 8 or 9 knots and 12 knots, 10 to 12 knots and 20 knots of wind. So right. these boats can do 200 miles per day. Yeah, but on the inside, you've got that comfort. So there's a lot of lovely features. I mean, I really like the dry cupboard with the blowers. Yeah, that's that's, the hot that's air really blower. simple, but it's great. Yeah. yeah. And so this boat is really a boat specifically built for a niche. If you're looking to get out of the warm parts of the world into the higher latitudes, this would be a boat that would tick the boxes for you. Yeah, definitely. Now, obviously, these are fixed keels. The draft is 1.4 meters or so, and it's an 18.5 ton boat. The price tag on this is 1.7 euros, 1.8 US dollars. Um, as the base boat so it's not in the cheap range of boats but you can see why that is mm. the finish is spectacular the carpentry is superb the features that they include in the boat are absolutely amazing because these guys have been in business for 45 years so this mm. is a very well built boat a very strong boat this boat will take you anywhere in the world and it will take you up into the arctic and if you hit anything like a 25 ton fishing boat you will just be dented you won't be whole but so. the other thing i really like about it is is the backup service that these guys have the support that these guys have it's really reassuring to know that if you're buying a boat particularly of that price bracket that you've got really good service and backup and support and for training your boat and training the blue water cruising school that they run for their their people is sounds absolutely fantastic yeah so obviously these are mini keels, so considering the sand, it's very strong. It has the ability to have the dual position steering in the main cockpit if that's where you want it. If you don't like this, the dual steering stations outside. It has lovely wide flat decks. This boat is built for performing with lots of practical features. For example, the lines running underneath the deck so you don't trip over them when you're walking on the cabin top. The heaters, the extractor fans, the hot air blower for the drying of the clothes absolutely fantastically finished off boat so i for one was really impressed this is a niche market boat for specifically traveling in the cold areas or the hot areas exactly as they say it stretches the boundaries you can travel into the arctic and into the antarctic if that's what you choose to do so well done garcia absolutely fantastic product you've made a high performing catamaran that can go almost anywhere in the world with safety and with speed and if you want for more information about the gas here, contact Cyril Corley at, and I got that right. You did, well done. <laughs> on Garcia Yachts at GarciaYachts.com. So that's it for us, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this view of aluminium boats, what's out there, just as much as I have. All the best, guys. Bye. See you later. Thanks for watching guys and if you like what we do, show us the love and hit the like button, then hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on your regular fix. Then kick off your shoes and you can come barefoot with us.